Oh man, that dude got messed up. What was he cooking? It smells delicious, but we don't have time. Let's go. All right, Survivors, Polly Jr. here, and welcome to the Outer Worlds. Today is October 25th, 2019, and I am super excited to play this game and share the experience with you guys here on the channel. I've been waiting for this one with bated breath. It's a single player um, RPG that takes place in uh, kind of outer space uh, on a colony somewhere out in the universe. I don't really know much about it. I've been avoiding spoilers at all costs, but it looks um, it looks pretty awesome. It's made by Obsidian, the folks behind Fallout New Vegas and Knights of the Old Republic 2. So they have a, a good track record. Both of those games are fantastic. Um, so we're going to jump in and get started. But first, I just want to give a big shout out and a thank you to GamesPlanet.com. They provided me with the code to play this game with you guys here. They did so for free. So I'm going to put a link down below to the page, uh, the Games Planet page, where you can check this game out for yourself. It's $59.99, and if you buy from Games Planet, you will receive a key for the game, um, where you can get it from Epic Games Store. It's not available on Steam um, right now. I don't know if it's ever going to be, but it is on Epic Games Store, and I think um, you can get it through the Windows Store as well, Microsoft Store. I'm not entirely positive about that, but anyway, I'm playing on PC, so yeah, check out that link down below to Games Planet. Thank you guys for the code. Now, let's jump in and get started. Um, I did play a very short while just to get my audio levels and video squared away, and I did go through the character creation screen so I know what to do and not waste a whole lot of time with you guys here and put you through all that because it, uh, it can drag out a little bit. We want to get to the action, right? So let's pick a normal difficulty mode. I think that's the best way to start out and we're gonna have all the subtitles on so you guys can read as well as listen and away we go why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars come to halcyon the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations a trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber you'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Cool, I can't wait. Sign me up, it sounds expensive though. But I think we're already, we're already on board. So we're gonna be on the ship called the Hope. And we're heading to this colony in outer space. Uh-oh, what's going on? Security beacon. Chem 78 is picking up a UFO or something. Oh boy. Oh, he's just a nerd. No big deal. I was expecting aliens or something bad, but that. Oh. <laughs> I hate when that happens. I don't know who this guy is, but he looks very suspicious. Oh, it's him! It's Phineas Vernon Wells, of course. He's a fugitive, wanted by Halcyon, among others. Oh boy. Oh, look at all the people. I think I'll, I think I'm Hundreds in there. of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever, just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Disgraceful. Okay. I think he's like a freedom fighter or something. He's gonna free us. Something bad happened. Maybe he's a good guy. Oh, pick me! Pick me! Pick me! <laughs> <laughs> all right, he's picking us. That's fantastic. Um, all right, so here's where we get to choose our attributes. We have six points remaining. That's what we start out with. We have, obviously, strength and dexterity and intelligence, perception, charm, and temperament. Now, I've already gone through all this and did all my reading, and I've got a build, a character build in mind. I'm going to be mostly a gunslinger. Um, we're going to shoot from afar and shoot up close with handguns and long guns and machine guns and all that fun stuff so we're going to be focusing on mind because the mind attribute affects those skills um so that's what we're going to focus on but we do definitely want a little bit of extra strength that's going to give us a little melee damage and carry capacity increased and i'm not too concerned about dexterity i don't think at least not yet i want to focus again on intelligence so let's bump that up to good and I love how the, the little arm over there is moving around looking for the right person. Um, 
So, yeah, we want somebody with good intelligence. That would be me. And also good perception. Yeah, yeah, closer. There we go. And someone super charming. Because this is going to give us a plus 10% companion ability refresh, plus 10% positive faction reputation, and uh, some other bonuses. So, yeah, we want to be able to talk. We want to be a very charming, scoundrelly type. Kind of like a Han Solo, right? And what else do we have? We have two more points left. I think I'm going to go with... Um, I think I'm going to keep cranking up uh, intelligence and perception, or maybe charm again. Nah, let's go with, um, we're going to be a really good shooter. Yes, good shooter, that one right there. Okay, yep, pick me. Oh wait, where are you going? Oh, it's coming back this way. All right, great. So now we have, um, we have the actual skills. We have two points available here. We have melee, range, defense, dialogue, stealth, and tech. And again, I have a particular build in mind we're going to be arranged Are the monarchs in need of more game hunters yes that will be us the game hunters um we're going to go range and that's going to give us a bonus in handguns long guns and heavy weapons pretty cool stuff and i'm also thinking dialogue someone with a talent for exploiting insecurities precisely <laughs> Um, this is going to give us an advantage when talking to npcs we have high persuasion we can lie with the best of them and intimidation really sounds awesome because this actually does affect combat believe it or not we can terrify our opponents we're gonna have this uh this reputation and people will tremble in their boots when they uh when they square off against us in combat pretty cool stuff all right next and now we have an aptitude we can choose one of these and we get a very tiny little bonus to boot and i had gone through all of these before and I'm kind of thinking persuasion. Here Good. we go. Good. I might require you to push a few buttons. That's me. I'm the cashier, subgrade, non supervisory role. And we're good at pushing buttons. And now we get to choose a face. We're going to go with Pablo Pudgewood. And I have already done this. And let's see if I remember. Yeah, head three. Skin tone one is fine. We're going to make like hazily eyes oh that's cool i like those are bright yeah yeah is that an earring no it's just a glitch um that's freakish freakish let's go with those eyes right there i'm gonna keep all the other stuff um right down the middle all that tweaking we don't need to deal with that it's too much trouble frankly and the hair i mean i like that hair bro it looks cool but we're gonna change that up and i've already like i said i've already done this so we can get through this quickly oh yeah dreads are awesome but nope oh look at that bun you look good in the bun pablo but that's a lot of hair to maintain there we go lovable scoundrelly rogue you look like a little han solo ish there right looks good and let's change the color of that hair i don't remember exactly what number i was on before but yeah i like that right there black with a little bit of gray little touch of gray looks very distinguished and eyebrows let's just give them some different eyebrows i like the fuzzy buzzy eyebrows Facial hair, just a little 5 o'clock shadow should do. That's about all we want there. And facial hair color doesn't matter because it's just a 5 o'clock shadow. But we'll match it up with the hair color anyway in case it grows out. I don't know. There we go. And features. We can do makeup. We can do dirt. We can do scars. And we can do age. I'm going to bump up the age just a tad. Make him about, yeah, you know, mid to late 30s. He's been around the block a few times. He's a seasoned veteran. And there is some makeup here if you want nice bright lips, but ah, I'm not going to deal. Um, let's let's just do a scar. And I have one here and a story behind it. And there it is. Yes, that one. That's a good one. It's kind of like I have a scar similar to that, but it's kind of over here. Um, they got in a football accident, but uh, yeah, I'll tell you that another time. All right, let's go. There you are, Pablo Punchwood. That's the man. And that's his name. And we are ready to rock and roll, baby. Make sure I type that right, because there's no going back. So, yeah, I like him. I like him. I like him a lot. Whoops. All right, next. Pablo Punchwood. Here he is. There's the guy. Good strength, average dexterity, high intelligence, and high perception. And he's uh, fairly charming. He's a cashier, subgrade, non-supervisory role, the persuasion plus one. He's going to be good with guns and lying and persuading. Um, fantastic. That's what we want. And science. Good. All right. And away we go. Next. Pick me. Over here. No, no. Yeah. That one. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Thanks, buddy. And there he goes. 
run it. Oh, we're gonna get put on a ship. Okay, I'm in. You can go now. <laughs> I'm getting kidnapped. It's exciting. Alright, where are we going, by the way? I hope it's a... Not likely, oh. bootlickers. Yeah, bootlickers. You tell him, Phineas. Initiate skip jump. Yeah, do that. Quick. All right. Uh, where are we headed, Phineas? Terra 2 is where we're headed. Orbiting laboratory health sound system. Oh, dear. Yeah, that ship's going to need some repairs. Structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down 25%. <sighs> Shit. Uh, hi, PW. Ah, there you are. Wondering yep. what's going on, eh? Here I am. Yeah. Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Yeah. Uh -oh. Your colony ship Dude. was inexplicably knocked Dude. out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Uh, Something what? Wrong? Oh, liquefaction. Yes. <laughs> Not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Terrific, thanks. I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! A smuggler? Cool, I want to be a smuggler. Uh, yeah, it does that. Yep, what? Bye, PW! Alright, I guess we're going planet side. Woohoo! Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Hey, PW, yeah. You are. Hi. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Hey, I want to be the dashing gunslinger. There can only be one. And that's me. You got me? Ow. Ow. That's smart. Ugh. Alright, let's get out of this thing. Uh, open up. There we go. Whew. Fresh air. Oh, you've landed good. Hawthorne uh -huh. should be close by. What in law's name? Uh, is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh, well. No sense in letting his ship go to waste. <laughs> good. Hawthorne One less dashing gunslinger. Better you than the board, huh? <laughs> yes. Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Yes. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Well, that's fine. Less competition for me, right? What is this over here? Just burning stuff from my dropship. All right, look at this planet. It's beautiful. Do I have a zoom? I don't know. I have nothing. What do we have here? It's my inventory. Uh, we have some bullets, light ammo from Spacer's Choice, heavy ammo from Vulcan, and energy cells. And here's our armor management. Drag armor, helmet up the items. Uh, helmet items up to the equipment slots to wear them. You can also manage armor, break them down, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Here's our consumables. You can use you can use junk or drop your consumables. Your emergency medical inhaler is shown at the top of the screen. It uses Adreno as fuel to heal. You're in an emergency and always keeps it loaded in the slot one. Increase your medicals to go to unlock more drug mixing slots. Oh, that's cool. 
Each slot is mixed into every puff of the inhaler. Oh, neat. Okay, so if we unlock these slots, we can have multiple effects with each inhale. Very nice. Those are our modifications, and here's our general loots and our quests. And our junk. We have a journal here. Our main quest right now. Find Hawthorne ship. The smuggler took your meeting location a bit too literally and got squished, just like the Wicked Witch of the West. Guess that means his ship is yours, if you can find it. Cool. And we have a codex here with all the stuff that we need to look up when we need to look it up. So, all right, let's um, let's roll out. All right, just wanted to save it right here at the beginning, and I don't want to miss anything. The eyes open. Very strange place. Jump over obstacles. Huh. Got it. What is this little guy? Hi, little buddy. It's a sprat. Oh, he's so cute. Can I stomp on him? Maybe get some resources. I don't know what we're looking for. All right, we'll just follow. This is like a little one of those tutorial things. Crouch, got it. And now we're gonna sprint, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't play many of these types of games. I'm gonna sprint all the way over here. Do we have like a, a fatigue or anything? Who's this? Crouch to sneak and avoid detection. Oh, hold on. We got we got tangos. We got tangos. We got a marauder thug. While sneaking, use tall grass, rocks, and other cover to hide from enemies. Use this to sneak past enemies or sneak up on them to incite. To initiate combat. All right, we're going to take an Adreno for our inhaler. Oh, man, that dude got messed up. What was he cooking? It smells delicious, but we don't have time. Let's go. We're going to hide in the grass. Hiding in the grass. Oh, there's no marauders here, but there's some kind of beastie. Oh, I see my eye. The border around my eye means I'm, I'm hidden right now, maybe. Stick to the grass. The awareness meters over enemy heads tell you if they are unaware, suspicious, investigating, or alerted. Except they don't tell us which symbols are which. <laughs> All right, I'm assuming the down symbol means that they don't see a darn thing. Should I run to that grass over there? Oh, oh, oh! That guy looked suspicious. Very nothing, nothing suspicious here. Just us sprats in the grass. Oh boy! All right, I don't think we're fooling anybody. Mm, can't pick that up. Path to ship. All right, stand up. Can I stand up here? There we go. Saving. That's good. Oh, more little sprats. Hi, pal. Whoa, what's going on? Ooh. Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Okay, thanks, PW. Yeah, we have some kind of um some kind of uh feature in this game that allows us to to stop time or slow down time. It's kinda like VATS in Fallout. You can use that in combat, right? It's gonna be awesome! Ow! Uh, I meant to do that. You have low health. Use the emergency me Oh. Hello? Okay, we can use the emergency- Hold on, I gotta heal myself. Ah. That's quick. And efficient. Hey, you! Hi! Come, you've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. You okay, buddy? Yeah, let's patch this fella up. Hold still, buddy. I'll patch you up. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. Ooh, we got experience I owe you one. Too. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Spacer's Choice is one of these big companies that um, has colonized this planet. At least some parts of it, anyway. And this guy obviously is here in the uh, Spacer's Choice area working for them. And he's telling the company line here. Um, yeah, Spacer's what? Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. So you shot yourself. You, is that what you're saying? He shot himself. That's fantastic. Um, all right. What, uh, what are you doing out here, anyway? Investigating an illegally grounded ship. All spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board law, that is. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. 
See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Not bad, kid. But, uh, oh, now we get to choose what skill to use here, and they're all pretty low level. We can persuade, we can lie, or we can intimidate. <laughs> Uh, listen, kid, you're an idiot. Give me your gun before you get yourself yeah. killed. You sound a lot like my lieutenant. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hope this gun serves you better than it did me. Here, you can have my saber, too, for patching me up and all. Sure. All Spacer's choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Good job, kid. 30% less chance of blowing my leg off. That's fantastic. Um, do you know anything about the hope? The hope? Mm -hmm. Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with anti Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. All right, then. Can you tell me where I am? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Salt tuna. Sounds delicious. All right, thanks, kiddo. Thanks for the gun. We'll take it from here. Attack. Attack him? No. Okay, we have to attack something. But first, let's have a look around. Oh, what is a mag pick? I don't know what I'm taking it. <laughs> pick up fast ration pills. Pre-sliced bread. Tartar sauce. I love it. All kinds of goodies here. Wow. All right. Oh, there's some salt tuna right there. We're going to take that, okay? We'll send help. You'll be fine. All right. I think he's going to live. we got to shoot the barrels. So he set that up in case the marauders came. That's that's not a bad idea, kid. All right. I got this. Stand back. Damage my ears. Oh. Uh, oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This... Sorry, PW. Yeah, we should have warned him. I forgot he's listening in on our conversation here. So, all right, kid, we'll catch up to you later. We'll send some. Uh, we'll send some help. All right, let's um, let's get out here and go find this ship, smuggler ship, which I am going to take as soon as I find it. Uh oh, something's happening. Ah, the thing. The tactical time dilation is what that's called due to complications stemming from being revived. After an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Cool. Presses, pressing the TTD button allows uh, slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly while moving and attacks drain it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. That's a Q key. Awesome. All right. I just saved it in case something goes terribly, horribly wrong here. Marauder Vandal snarling. Oh, we got a Marauder Vandal down here snarling and muttering to himself. <laughs> um, let's shoot the barrels. They will put him out of his misery. Ooh, 70 experience. That's pretty good. Oh, hi. Sorry. Was that your friend? Oh, I'm so sorry. Is that it? Just two. 50 experience for this guy. We got 70 for the guy with the barrels, so maybe um, creative kills. Get more experience or something. We got a bit cartridge here, seven of them. I guess that's like the currency in the game. It's kind of like um, Bitcoin, right? Some kind of cryptocurrency. Some extra ammo, and you have a new item in your inventory. Yay! All right, let's go down here and check this body. If there's a body left, <laughs> way over here. A saber. Well, we already got a saber from the kid, didn't we? But we'll grab it. We can break it down. Uh, oh, there's a bunch of stuff down here. You found a new weapon. The weapon switch button allows you to rotate between uh, weapons, but it's not working. Weapon management. You can have up to four weapons equipped at a time by dragging them up to the slots. That's probably why. Yeah, we never equipped that saber. And they look like they're the same thing. So how about if we... Can we break it down? Oh, yeah. Q. All right, let's break it down yeah there we go we got weapon parts three weapon parts pretty cool stuff all right we got more of these mag picks here we got a bunch of food tarmac and cheese that's like right out of uh fallout don't they have a some kind of mac and cheese uh fast ration pill fish sticks mm -mm -mm. delicious then we have mock apple <laughs> fake apple more mag picks 
A bunch of nanners. I love nanners. More mag picks. Oh, here we go. Hacking and picking locks. Your hacking and lock pick skills help you get into places you're not meant to be. Mag picks are used to break open locks, and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. All right, let's do it. So it looks like we're going to need four of our mag thingies here. We hold the button down. It's going to take four seconds. If we had a better hacking skill, it'd probably be a little faster. Uh, Lockpick used 15 experience from breaking into this thing, and there's a telescoping staff, which apparently is a two handed weapon. Nice, with knocked out special effect. That sounds kind of fun, even though we're not a melee character, because I do like to, uh, I like to use guns, especially in sci fi role playing games like this one. I'd rather use the sci fi stuff, but it might be fun to whack somebody with that thing. Holy smokes, that's cool. Use these controls to attack and block. Most melee weapons can perform a three swing combo. One. Wait, how do I do the combo? Oh. Well, that's good. But again, we'll focus on guns. Oh, that's not a gun. This is a gun. Oh, hold up. We got more marauders. Um, maybe we'll try melee on if we get one guy alone. We got two marauders here. All right, let's take let's take this guy out. I'm gonna use my time dilation to get a nice clean headshot. Oh, we did, but I didn't kill him. Man, they're tough. Maybe it's just the bullet type. Oh, we got two incoming. Oh, can I use more dilation? No, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out of dilating. <laughs> I'm not dilating right now. Oh, out. Ooh, dilate. Bang, 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 bang. And we killed. Good. Inhale. All right, man, these bullets don't seem to do very much damage. Bit cartridge um, and a saber, which we can actually break down right here by holding down the F key. That is super nice. So you don't have to deal with opening up your inventory and breaking it down or breaking it down later. I like that. More ammo and another sword. Break it down. I'm assuming that the same thing as one we already have. And then the last marauder over here. He had it coming, just like the rest. Nothing on him. All right, let's keep moving. Keep your eyes open. I did want to try <laughs> melee. This one looks pretty cool, actually. All right, where? Oh, there's the ship. My ship. Our ship. Yay! Right? Is that? Yes, yeah, Hawthorne's ship. Oh, hold up. Uh, private. Oh, these are friendly. They look friendly. 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 Can I put hey, my gun down? Hi. Get over here before you get yourself killed. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, hi. W what's up? Don't know Name's where you Pablo came Punch from, with. stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts. And you don't say. Landing violators. Call on that rung leech. The worst. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. Can you imagine? I'd slap them with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Yes, you should. Absolutely. Um, by the way, so I heard because I found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, you might want to send he? somebody back there to pick him up. Oh, he's okay. I had to I had to patch him up a little bit, but he's still a moron. Essentially. Of course I am. I'm a superior officer. Stands to reason, don't it? Uh huh. Just you watch. I'll cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. All right then. I just you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath, stretch my legs, son. Yeah, don't work too hard or anything. Okay, got all the time in the world here. All right, so here's where our dialogue investment is going to pay off. So we can use our powers of persuasion, lying, or intimidation. I'm going to go with persuasion. Let's just let's just smooth talk, uh, Lieutenant Mercer here. So do Spacer's choice guards always back down from a challenge? Hmm. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, mm -hmm. you know what? You're right. I am. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be ah. laminated. Wow. All there right. We, we could have dispensed with the language, but that's fine. I, I like, I like your uh, your enthusiasm. All right. Here they come. Here they come. I'll get in close. You shoot from afar. One down. That guy down. Head. 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 Oh. Oh, back up! Get out of my way! Oh wait, this person was trying to give up, I think. Oh, dang it. I think the guy tried to surrender. He's gonna grab everything here. Oh, a light pistol. I'm not sure how that compares to what I have. Hey, hold on! Lieutenant! We gotta check the bodies. Gotta get the loots. Where'd all the bodies go? 